this video, I'm going to show how to create uh, our web part and add it to a SharePoint site to be able to manage individual SharePoint permissions that are allowed for Azure AD app registrations. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get to your uh, admin page on SharePoint after logging in. Do not use incognito mode. You may, you may have issues uh, loading the web part. If you don't already have an app catalog, you'll want to click on app catalog and create it. I've already created one. If you don't have one, you'll get an option to create it. Then at that point, you'll want to distribute apps for SharePoint. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and upload our app. And I've gone ahead and chosen that file. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now that's going to go ahead and load. And at this point, I want to hit deploy to deploy it. And then what I'm going to want to do is go back to our SharePoint admin and approve the API access. And then I'm going to go back to the SharePoint admin center. I'm going to click advanced API access. And then this takes a bit of time to load. You'll see we even get a few warnings. Eventually, after about 30 seconds to a minute, it will load. And then you'll want to click on each graph permission and approve it. And at this point, the web app is now available for distribution to be used on a site. So the next step will be I will go to the MWD service site that I created for Azure uh, application to be able to run. And I'm going to install the web uh, part onto that site so that we can give it permissions. And at this point, I've gone to our site that we created just for the purpose of granting permissions and working with Office Online. And now, at this point, we're going to be able to add the web part to this site. So I'm going to go in here, say New App. And you'll see WANPATH Site Selected Manager Solution is now here as an option. I will go ahead and add that. And now that has been added. So I can go, then go back to the site. And now I can add that as a web part on our page. And if you scroll the way down to the bottom, you should see sec Site Selected Manager. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And then at that point, I can republish. And now that I'm logged in, you will see that we now have Site Selected Manager as an option here on our site. It has some instructions on how to use it. If I click Add Remove Sites to Apps, you'll see that I've already got a couple of apps that I've already created. It will list any apps that already exist in Azure AD that are running an application service mode with site selected uh, as being requested. And you can see I already have one that is approved. If you have one that wasn't approved, you would just click on it and add that app permission. And then at that point, you'll just re-input the same URL that you have up here. That will just be put in here. You'll grant it read, write, and it will then be granted that permission. And then at that point, you should already have granted that Azure AD app permission to this site. And if I wanted to then just double check it, I can also go over to check app permissions on site. I can paste in again the same since I've already actually am using the same site to be able to use this test tool and permissions tool. I can just put that in here. Now it will list any apps that have been granted permission. So this Azure AD app ID will match the one that we created with the MWD service as the name that we, we created it as. And that's it.
we now know that we have granted our Azure AD app permissions and we're then ready to proceed to put these uh, details into our My Work Drive admin panel.